Hello guys, welcome to DTWGED Prep. Welcome. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be treating the topic cost and mass and some uh, practice examples. And if this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button to support me to grow and also the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload an educational video for you. And don't forget to share, give this video a thumbs up. And um, if you want to join our group, our Facebook group, our WhatsApp group for free online Zoom math class every Wednesday by 9 a.m. US central time um, you can later on check the, the video description box of this video I'm gonna put up that link there and other things that will support you in your GED test all right so let's get on to the video now so what's cost and math now cost is equal to what your number of units okay multiplied by the price per unit Okay, let's say you, you want to buy some muffins and you get like six or five muffins at what particular price? Okay, and that will give us give you the what the total cost of whatever you you want to buy. Okay, that's the total cost of the muffins that you are going to get. So that's just cost in maths. The total number of units multiplied by the price per unit. All right, so you can abbreviate this by saying C is equal to what N are okay where you can look for sometimes in math you know you have to substitute don't worry we'll, you'll see some examples here let me just i'm going to do this with examples it's always better to teach with examples okay so i have like four examples here for you that we're going to do together and also um don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ okay for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life all right and in him you have a wonderful life all right in christ with, with no worries and with peace that passes all understanding so he's calling on you today all right that's just i'm just dropping a message for you there and i hope it touches and it heals your heart all right so come on to jesus so here this first example he say, it says find the total cost of 12 boxes of cookies if each box costs this so what's the total cost of 12 boxes now this is the number of units we have of cookies if each of the box costs what three dollars so what do we do to find the total cost is just simply c is equal to what what is our n our n is what 12 why our p oh sorry this is price per unit we're supposed to use a p here why our p is equal to what three what dollars okay so we have 12 times remember here uh, C is equal to what NP, so we have 12 times or 3. So our total cost is what? What is 12 times 3? That is what 36 what dollars. So our answer is what 36 dollars. Okay, don't forget that for you know, in some questions, you have an underline, no options, and you say write your, your in your test, write your answers here. So you don't just put 36. I always remind students you have to always put the unit of measurement, which is what 30 dollars, uh, the dollar sign. Okay. Now, we have our next question. It says, if four tires cost this, how much does a single tire cost? So here, it's, looking, it's telling us to look for what? The price per unit, or to look for P. And we already know from our formula that C is equal to, so that's the total cost, is equal to what? NP. So to get P, uh, we have to make P the subject of formula. And to make P the subject of formula, what do we do? We divide both sides by what n. We have to cancel out this n. So p remains, you know, um, subject of formula is making a particular variable the only one on one part of the equation. You know, equations have two sides. Okay, I, that's another class entirely, but let me just quickly explain it here. I don't want this video to be quite long. All right, so uh, you have to make it p stand alone on one part of the equation so we have to cancel out this n and whatever you do on one part of the equation you also have to do on the other part so divide by n and here divide by n so this will cancel out and what i would left to do i left to c over n is as n sorry is equal to what p which is the same thing as saying p is equal to what c over n so this is a formula to find a price per unit okay since we know the formula, what is our C? Our C here, which is the what the total cost is what 320 
dollars while our, our n which is the number of units it says four tires number of units n is equal to what four so p which is the price per unit is equal to what 320 divided by four here we can reduce this four would go here one four thirty two eight so we have eighty so it is what eighty okay so our price is what eighty dollars so this is the answer for this so the price for one tire cost what eighty dollars now let's go to the next example here practice test here so it says how many tickets would you get for twenty five dollars if raffle tickets cost five dollars a piece so you can see here it says how many tickets now what are we looking for we're looking for what the number of what units how many tickets will you get for twenty five dollars which is the total cost okay if uh, if raffle tickets cost five dollars per piece this five dollars is what price per unit right which is what's p per unit so this is p and this is c so we have to look for what but to look for what n that is the number of units so from here we know our formula is what c is equal to what n p all right, we have to look for what n. So we have to make n the subject of formula. In doing this, we divide both sides by p, okay? Where this uh, p would cancel out, and we are left with what c over p is equal to what n, which is the same thing as saying n is equal to what c over p. So what do we do? We substitute our value c is equal to that's the total cost is what twenty five dollars, and the price of each raffle ticket is what five dollars which is what p that's price per unit okay we divide how many times will five going to five to go five times so we have our n is equal to what five now here n is not going to carry out carry um any sign a dollar sign because we're looking for the number of units not the price per unit or the total price okay so this is our answer here now that's a five for tickets okay you can just write tickets in front of it all right so the final question we have here it says if you paid twenty dollars for 10 bus transfer tickets how much did you pay per ticket now we're looking for the price per unit and remember our formula is here we can now box this this is the total cost c is equal to this uh p which is price per unit which we found is here is equal to c over n and where our n is equal to what c over p this is n this is p and this is c okay don't forget that so here we are asked what how much did you pay per ticket okay per ticket so how much is what the price per unit that's what's asking us is asking us for the price per unit so p we are going to use this formula p is equal to what our cost over the number of what units okay and here what is our cost our cost is if you pay twenty dollars for that's the total amount for how many bus tickets 10 uh, bus transfer tickets so c is equal to 20 why n is what 10 okay which is 10 bus transfer tickets so divided by what 10 and there are many 10 we we'll go here one and 10 in 22 times so our price per uh paid per ticket is equal to what two dollars okay so this is the answer all right so thank you for staying tuned to today's class and um and um don't forget from dtw tutorials you are destined to win even in your forthcoming gd math test don't be scared you're destined to win all right see you in our next video thank you